Hi, we're back on Smells Like 90s Rock. Sheila Hot Toddy and DJ Port. We just sat here and watched the Alex Jones interview. It's a bananas. It, it's doozy. It's a doozy. I don't I don't I mean what well, that that had to be premeditated. I think yeah. he, he just he literally just wanted everybody to be like, I yeah. You know. He wanted to go on and do that cuz like the guy didn't even ask the question. He pivots it into it. <laughs> like, like, right. Do you feel responsible for the Yes, I killed them. I but, killed That's oh. what he says. I killed them. Yeah. Then then he was like, George Washington killed him. Jesus killed them. He was comparing himself to George Washington. Then they can't do it. And then uh, the First Amendment killed them. The uh, Second Amendment Second killed them. Second Amendment killed which them. Which kind of, that one might be That's actually true. That's true. <laughs> uh, and the First Amendment, he said the First Amendment doesn't matter anymore. It does, but when you're liable for spreading false claims, uh, you get in trouble for that. That has nothing to do with politics. It's always been that way. It's what your precious constitution uh, has written out. So, well, it doesn't have written out, but it's how it's been interpreted. It's how it's interpreted. It's like, but it's written out. You have freedom of speech. But I mean, it's a law that if you're if you spout false rumors, you're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, it's always been that way. Yeah. So I mean, because you have the First Amendment, and then you had you know the Alien and Sedition Acts. What's <laughs> some decade later? It was like, yeah, you can't say bad things. Mm-hmm. So like, it very much we understand it that it's yes, just, you can't go around saying whatever you uh, want. But um, unless you're Alex Jones, apparently. Well, yeah, because we've learned that if you're conservative, you can get away with literally everything. I just don't understand how he has a following. Like how anybody would have watched that? Because I know the people are going to. Who are his fans are going to watch that and say, "Man, he got just attacked by the media in that." And all what I mean, they? the ki- yes, he just sat there and admitted he was the one that killed the kid. I know, but like they're gonna be like, "He got he got so attacked. Look what look what happened to him," and like that poor kid that was interviewing him was just like, "What is going on?" Like, he, oh God, he, was, he said he reminded you of pork. If like, he was, I, was yeah. just, I was just doing a project for school. Exactly. He's like, I had to. I just needed this for school. I didn't realize you're gonna be this way. I'm just like I, you I did not want to go viral. See, so like I, you, um, you didn't kill him, and he'd be like, "No, I, I killed him. I did it. I killed those kids. I went in there and I killed those He's kids." He's like leaning and like bucking at him too, yeah. and the guy's literally like, "Uh huh." And then, and then, we, and then everybody will ask Pork afterwards, like, "Okay, why did he say that?" He's like, "I don't know. I, I don't didn't know. ask. I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. I didn't ask. I didn't want to know anymore." Yeah, but in that interview, we'd have we'd have an understanding, like, "Oh, because he got up and ran away from you." <laughs> yeah. As opposed to just like you could have chased him down, but his own employees were telling him to stop, bruh, stop, stop being stupid, stop saying stupid stuff. And he's like, like no, nah, I did it. It was easy. it was literally a reminder. It was a of tantrum. Like <laughs> it's a it was a toddler's tantrum. Yeah. It's like no. I mean, he he might as well just got on the floor and went. Yeah, like, no, he's Wiz. He's Wiz. Just box. He is just he is the Alex Jones is the epitome of cheese Wiz juice. But he should have been the graphic that week. I didn't even think about that. Well, that interview yeah. didn't come out until after. But if you the did show. that, you'd have to like. Um, I'm just suddenly thinking of like the original Sheila story where Cheese Whiz came came from. <laughs> mm-hmm. Instead of Cheese Whiz, I'm just imagining that person going, "I killed the kid. <laughs> I killed him. I did it." Oh God. Where did Juice Box come from? I've been trying to figure. I, that I don't. Out. I don't know. My exhaustion. <laughs> See, everyone's like, where are you coming? Pork, so, did, pork did one of his catchphrases. I don't know. I don't know. Like, ah. it came around and just out of my own insanity because, like. Juice box got added in somewhere. Because it came, like, every week I would come in. You'd slept way too much one day and then. No, I, yeah. that was the day I didn't have any sleep, I'm sure. And to my mind, it was just like, it was that, that, that toddler tantrum of, like, juice box. And so I came in and he couldn't get the mic working again. And I was like, oh, fine. I'll just go <laughs> cheese with the juice boxes for him. Because he's yelling cheese whiz, but like he didn't bring like the juice box. Like that's how my mind connected it. And it's Look, just stuck. Those buttons confu- or can confuse some people sometimes. You can't, but it's just cheese whiz, the mm-hmm. juice box. And so it's just stuck. It's, it's, like, it's just been, the way it's been. And now every time I have to go cheese with some juice box for him, I got Hey, you know, we all have our downfalls and these buttons sometimes. I mean, look, half the board is out tonight. For how long? <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the question. For how long? How long are we going to be doing this? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, that's that's where we are in life. We, we can't even turn down the music. We can't. 
we were play, we played just a girl by no doubt a few minutes ago and it was really loud in here yeah and it played over the alex jones interview too it somehow worked though really well the music i kill the kids i kill them i did it i'm just girl i kill the kids that was the original lyrics and then they they changed them no you can't bring no doubt into this they did nothing wrong i killed the kid and they were like no i don't think that's gonna go over very well it's punk it's grunge no you don't you know what someone needs to do and it's really morbid but it would be great is actually create 9-11 airlines no but to um use pumped up kicks and mix it in with that interview. Oh, actually, that would that I'm would work. Sure, that's very probably well. happened. At it's this probably point. happened. We we could probably look it up, and I'm sure it's probably there somewhere. Because that 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 the beat and stuff, like you know. I just want to hear Alex Jones do a dry reading of the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like Ben Shapiro when he wa- when he read WAP. Remember that? Oh yeah, that was great. That I'm was so really glad good. that exists. That's the greatest thing. I'm wet. I'm not gonna say it all. Like, mm. it, he said uh, wet ass. P words. Oh, well, okay, even, you said would, it. So all right, he wouldn't fine. even say it. No, I know. That's right. I didn't. I wasn't even going to say ass, but you went there. I, Wet ass. You P guys word. can say the P word now. The president made it okay. Oh, the he did. President. The ex-president. Remember? No, no, he's still in charge. Remember? Uh, for, I keep forgetting. He's, or no, he's. <coughs> so did he send Alex Jones to kill the kids? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to go through the. I'm trying to go through the logic. He was still in charge, but some people believe that JFK is in charge, and JFK Jr. is vice president. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then <laughs> there's this other is America. Too. Yeah, and then I think somebody thinks that Bozo the Clown is in charge somewhere. I don't know. It, the, the, so it now it's th- murky. Now that like you know they found America's greatest secrets in like toilet paper rolls at Mar a Lago. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it doesn't change anything. Well, yeah, but he's come up with like all these defenses, mm-hmm. and one of my favorite ones, and and that's because again. I, I, I find humor in these conspiracy mm-hmm. theory things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm down with them. Mm-hmm. Um, is that he didn't realize in enough time to pack that he wasn't going to be president. So he just basically threw everything in trash bags and left kind of thing. Like that's his well, defense. Well, who hasn't? Fo- like how, he, didn't, he, he didn't have enough forewarning to know that he wasn't going to continue being who, president. Who hasn't gotten into that situation, Sheila? I mean, come on. That's like being fired. Told, mm-hmm. told okay, man, like. Well, more like laid off. Here's the thing: when you when you lose when you lose the job of presidency, you have two months' notice. Yes, you get two months' notice. And like maybe if you let people from the other administration and that's required. come in, yeah, it would have jogged your memory that you need a pack. But that's why he's like, yeah, so I just do things. But like, so where were these? Where were nuclear secrets? Like in his underwear bedside, dr- like yeah, his <laughs> underwear drawer. Like you know, <laughs> like where were they? To where you just like grabbed them and ran? <laughs> I want to think about it. I taste hot dog. Can you imagine Trump's underwear? They got to be tidy whities Like I, I, you know, I, I don't knock tidy whities We all, I mean, hey, I wear them, but they, you know, they're they got to be big tidy whities Yeah, I think they're like speedo silk. Ah! That's what I would say. Ah! Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna join in on the speculation. Right you want to? You want to guess Trump's underwear? I'm thinking just boxers, just plain old boxers. <laughs> 